Today, in our today's world, we have a lot of things called problems. And problems cannot be solved by themselves, so we ought to employ solutions. Now, but people bring solution from the basis of the fruit instead from the basis of the roots. Most of us are still looking for how to tackle our problems or how to look for a solution for our problems, but we look at the path at which is actually the fruit instead of the roots. So many people are confused which is the root or which are the roots to solve these problems. And we are on the Love Series, and today we're going to be talking about acceptance. And today I want to talk today about acceptance. It is deep. It is really deep. But before I go into acceptance today, prior to our previous video on last Friday, I received a comment that oh, it actually struck me, you know, because some persons misunderstood what I meant by family in the sense of I made a statement. I said, if uh, the family is actually the root of a broken society or a broken family is the root of a broken society, and um, someone commented and she said no that she wouldn't agree with it and I was like okay fine you get and I want to make it clear here family or a broken family it is I have still I still say the word it is the root of societal problems now when I mean broken family a broken family does not always mean a separation of dad and mom husband and wife no a broken family is a family that has no foundation. A broken family is a family that has no formulation or formation, rather. Because if the root is destroyed, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? I think and I know nothing can be done. Because most of us still tell ourselves that we can make it. We can produce this. So I want to tackle on that family background thing for a while. When I mean a broken family is the root of a broken society, I mean every family that has no roots, I mean no foundation. There is no way that you can cut the hand or your two hands and you think you can write. It's impossible. There is no way you can cut off your head and you think you can still be alive. The root is the root. We don't tackle the root, that's why we are out there thinking the problem is not the head, the problem is the hand. So once the root is tackled, every other thing will settle down. Now, I want to break this real quick on the family background thing. Most of us have seen, I have had a lot of friends that they had broken family. And their broken family, they're out there making better ways or better things for themselves. I mean, the children of the broken family in the sense of divorce. The aspect of divorce separation is a secondary part of what I meant by a broken family. But the primary part of a broken family, in my statement, it actually means a family that has no formation, a family that has nothing, like a background check, like something like an ideology, a pathology, uh, an understanding, a belief system. These things need to be inculcated into our family because the Bible says raise up a child in the way he should go so that when he grows up, it will not depart from it. What do you think that statement means in the Bible? It means you cannot raise up a child in a, family, uh, in a good way when you don't have a good background, when you don't have a good foundation, when you don't have a good formation. So when I use my word, a broken family, I mean, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? What can you do? The secondary part is a broken family of divorce, separation, and all that. That's the secondary part of broken home, of a broken home. All right, and that adds to also 60% of a broken society, if I may say that. Because I've seen people that make wrong decisions after their family is being broken up. The mother couldn't do anything, but there are some sweet mothers, sweet ladies out there that are taking it up to push. So I'm going to reduce my percentage to about 40. Because I've seen lots more of broken homes that became a better home. I mean, the kids or the product of the broken home became a better person, or they became better persons. So, 
sometimes 40% of a broken home in my secondary aspect of what I meant by a broken family is a broken society 40% of these people contribute to the broken society all right but the remaining 60% I've seen a huge number of it that became better people and this is on the foundation of decision making now I might come from a broken family you might come from a broken family but it's a decision you make and I make that make us a better person so I think I've explained a little bit more on that situation or on that phrase I use so we don't have contradictions or we don't have misunderstanding of the words I use I think I will want to break things down a little bit more so that we don't have more disagreement or more misunderstanding all right thank you for that if this also sits well with you then I appreciate it but if it doesn't please try as much as possible to DM me let's have a conversation so today what we're going to talk about mm, acceptance Wow and now this is a root cause that most of us don't even know about it I was talking to a friend some couple of weeks ago and we're having this conversation and she talked about acceptance and it actually taught me something you know the thing is if you understand who you are if you understand what you are my principle is I cannot give what I don't have I try my best to give but when I don't have it I can give it so let me break this acceptance thing down most of us go into relationship and there are some stigma that we take into the next relationship that we don't break off and it's hard that's why they tell you oh if you break from a relationship don't rush into another because you need to heal because if you don't heal there is no way you can become a better person trust me every person now I'm gonna come from the aspect of uh, the, the guy or the guy or the man that is virgin a lady you know take for example there is a bond there is there is no way the person or anybody can take that from you because no matter how you think about it when the question comes up or pops up that who did you have your virginity or who took your virginity rather you think about the person now I want to make some something very clear here connection is deep even your anger even your hatred for the person is a connection to the person even if you hate the person genuinely or you dislike the person's genuinely it's a connection it is a connection so one thing that people do take into the next relationship is they take the brokenness into the next relationship and it's hard for the next guy to actually coexist with this person that comes out from a broken relationship that wants to amend the girl or the guy needs to settle down to understand themselves because it is what it is when you actually know yourself heal from your broken wound and know what you want now acceptance is deep now for example I just came from a broken relationship for example and let's say I want to go into another relationship now if there's something I see in my previous relationship and that, that didn't work for me the moment I start seeing it in the next relationship I begin or I, I begin to have that feeling of this person is still the same thing so I need to build an environment of acceptance the person needs to accept you not about what the person does for you or what the person do for you or what the person will be doing for you no that is not acceptance acceptance is ability for you to break out from the old break out from your past experience experience is a best teacher when it comes to so many things that um, uh, pertain to relationship because you cannot love someone that does not accept you now I'm gonna break this in part now in the aspect of love is deep because sometimes some ladies do have a deep connection to the past people, persons that they genuinely give themselves to they genuinely love they, they genuinely inculcate themselves their being their spirit their soul into their bodies and their own their own partner's bodies and for that person to leave them there's a stigma they cannot go away from that they cannot wash away it's hard for them to wash that that stigma away because they committed and even some guys it happened to most guys too that commitment was there so when that commitment is broken or when that trust is broken or when that person they thought that they cannot live without and they start seeing the person leaving without them it's hard and sometimes we tend to go back to the person's Facebook Twitter or Instagram and start looking up for the person like you want part of you want to see the person die part of you part of you want to see the person oh is the person suffering or is the person enjoying and if the person is enjoying you'll be like you 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 you'll be hating yourself at a point in time 
now that's why it is it is paramount to to actually when you leave a, a previous relationship heal yourself first check your mistakes check balance balance what you did not do that that was wrong that um led led to the the broken relationship that you had so, but when you heal yourself make sure the next person that you're going to go into a relationship with it is advisable that the person i wouldn't say 100 percent better than uh, the previous person but at least what did the per what the person your previous relationship didn't give you make sure do not pretend do not deceive yourself make sure that the next relationship is giving you more better so that when you think about the past the presence is working on you and trust me once you always think about the past in your present relationship it's going to affect the man because anything you do as a lady will be reflecting the man i mean your past and the man in context will be your past in the present and that will lead to a break in relationship there's going to be so many arguments, many disagreements. I'm not saying there's no disagreement in relationship. There is. But the moment you take your past into a new relationship, the boy or the man or the guy tends to have to um, deal with him being the old guy, whereas he's the new guy. So as a lady, break everything, every connection. Heal yourself by forgiving the person. Heal yourself. It's not easy. I'm not going to say it's easy. No, it's not easy. Heal yourself by breaking out from that connection. Because anger is a connection. Build friendship where I'm not saying you should go back to your ex or go back to the person that you that, that, that broke you off. But I'm saying at the expense of your um, mental health, your spiritual health, build friendship. At least once in a while, how are you doing? Fine? Genuine friendship. And there's a boundary to it. But if you are out there and you don't want to build relationship or rather friendship, or you don't want to say you don't want to be that guy that oh, uh, we can say hi. You need to say hi to your ex sometimes, because they are part of your life too. No matter how it is, either bad or good, they are part of your life. So if they are bad to you, I think the best thing to do. I'm not saying you should just um, you should go back to them. No, I'm saying build relationship, build friendship with them. Like once in a while, how are you doing? Hope you're fine. Hope you're doing good. How's life treating you? Check on them sometimes. Because it builds that balance, it makes you, it heals you more. But when you don't build that friendship, it doesn't heal you, it breaks you more. Mostly when the new guy or the new partner with it's not is not seen or is not becoming your past. Because you want to be, you want to make your new man be better than your old man. So you don't want to accept the fact that your old your old man is better. Most th most times when the old guy is getting better and the new guy you have or you had or you are having rather sorry it's actually he is actually not going up or it's not going higher you know it's not progressing or let's say before when you met him it looks everything progressed but at the end of the day it's just um it's just in one spot and your previous is you know climbing higher and higher so you need to build excuse me that friendship right so um one thing I always tell people is this. When you leave a relationship, make sure you heal so that you don't tend to look back at the guy you left and be like, oh, you try to pressure the new guy into being the old guy. There's going to be a huge problem. So acceptance is, it, 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 it happens deep within. It's a root problem that most of us don't understand. When a girl loves a guy to an extent and the guy broke or breaks the commitment, the trust, or whatever, it's hard for a lady to regain that love. So she needs to imbibe in herself. She needs to trust herself. She needs to build herself. So guys, don't push a lady to start loving you when she's not ready. You will regret it. They are like wounded lions. They are like wounded lions. Because the moment they go into a relationship and the moment you start reflecting the past to them, you're gone. You start having issues upon issues. You start having quarrels upon quarrels. Listen, as a guy, caution yourself. If a girl tells you, give me, um, I need space, I need um, time to talk, let her have a time. Just be that friend. Just be that guy that, you know, tiptoe into her life once in a while, encourage her, make sure you're there for, the, for her, and, you know, and so on and so forth. So acceptance is deep. Acceptance is you accepting the person. Now, I want to drift into finance because sometimes it's hard. When it comes to finance, I wouldn't deep, um, go deep in finance because I'm going to talk about finance and relationship maybe by the end of the, um, by the last Friday of this month to conclude the whole thing. It is hard to accept someone that is not up to the standard of the previous. It is hard to accept someone that is not up to the standard in the standard of love, giving, care, attention. It is hard. So what am I saying? Before you go into a relationship, make sure two of you come together and 
you know, air your views, air your past, and let us, some girls will be like, don't tell your guy your past. No, I'm not saying, not everybody you tell your past because some people are foolish. Some people are damn stupid. When you tell them your past, they're going to turn around and use it against you. They're going to use it against you. And the moment they use, oh, I'm sorry, you're done. So, most importantly, make sure that your past, you, if you see that if your partner is sensible enough and is discreet enough or is discreet enough, make sure that you can relate to your past. Oh, this is what I went through. So that you can communicate your past so you don't, you don't use your past against yourself. So that your past will reflect. Instead of fighting the issue, you fight yourselves. You guys have, most people are fighting themselves. It's, it's the boy versus the girl. And the problem sits down, relax, and still fold its hands. So it is you plus the guy or plus the girl against the problem. So most importantly, try to accept the person. Because the reason why men, people will say, oh, men shit. Oh, ladies shit. Men shit. Uh, hello. I think it all boils down to acceptance. It boils down to acceptance. A guy wants a particular thing. I know you, can, you cannot really actually give, um, you cannot you know, please a man. You know, 100%. You can never please a woman 100%. But to a large extent, I say 70%, it's all about acceptance. What is the guy's perspective about a lady? I say, lady, you need to know your guy's perspective about a lady. Ideology about a lady. If you don't know this, it's going to be tough because you're going to try to manage things. You're going to try to maintain. No, no, no. Instead of you maintaining, know it. Knowledge is powerful. Know what your partner likes. You know, have a communication, a conversation. That is going to help both of you. So when you guys talk, you guys expand your knowledge about what you have gone through, how you can formulate to make the, the future better. That's what the foundation is. Founda one of the foundation or one of the fundamental things you need to do, it is acceptance. It's like when Jesus Christ died for everyone, right? Now, the acceptance is, he has accepted you. So if you go out there and still come back and say, you, um, Lord, forgive my sins, you know, you know, wholeheartedly, and you come out and say, oh, Lord, I'm sorry. You know, with your whole heart, he accepts you back. So he accepts your sin nature. That's why he say, "Come to me, the way you are." When you're going to a relationship, come to the guy, come to the girl, the way they are. Don't love them because of their status. Don't love them. Don't accept them because of their status. Don't accept them because of their representation. Accept them for who they are. You're gonna go far with them. If the guy is not financially stable yet, if you are willing to accept that, go into it. But if you're not willing to, do not try to take the lead to that the young man has or the lead to that a young woman has. Try to accept them for who they are. Many people today, they don't accept people for who they are. And at the end of the day, it's really an expensive thing going on by giving yourself out. So it's really expensive to give your love, your care to someone, your mental health to someone. It's really expensive. I'll tell you the truth. It's expensive to do that. So while you are in a relationship, Try to have communication. Try to know if you are accepted. Because most of us today are in a relationship and we don't even know if we are accepted or not. Most of us are not accepted. But we are just, we are just floating with the wind. Try to accept the person that you are with. And try as much as possible to know what the person is, who the person is, and what perspective the person is actually glooming from or growing from. Because different family, different background. Acceptance is a key. It's a very, very functional key. Please, as much as you want to go into a relationship, as much as you want to love someone, I, like I always say, my principle is, you cannot give what you don't have. If you know you can give love, start by giving yourself love. If you know you can give yourself attention, start by giving yourself attention. Anything you know you can give, start giving to yourself first. Because it's first about you before the next person, before your partner. I'm Alexander Asi. I'm excited to be here again. And I'm so excited to be your personal development coach. Thank you so much for listening to the end. And I'm so grateful. And if you know you're new year again, do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to drop your comment. Do not forget to follow us on Instagram at Asi Junior. Please, I will love your comments. I will love your DMs. Do not forget to do that. I remain Alexander Asi, your host, every now and then, every Friday. I'll see you on the next Friday. By the grace of God, we're going to talk about finances in relationship, in marriage, whatever it is. 
and we're going to make sure that it's not long because most of us don't like long video but sometimes i need to really educate us and for us to have an understanding and if you know again that you don't you know see this most likely uh something that you agree with you can as well dm me i remain your host alexander assay peace